Guys, so previously my tarantulas, those who had DKS, for those who don't know, that's dyskinetic syndrome in tarantulas. It's a disorder. I don't know. Is it a disorder? No, it's a set of symptoms. Yeah, it, it's not even a sickness. It's like a set of symptoms that causes the tarantula to not be able to control its movement. And I have a perfect example right here. This one has really, really bad disconnect syndrome. Let me get him into this so I can show you. So as you can see over here, he's not able to control his movement at all. Wait, let me, let me, let's just wait. You see, you see, look at that. Look at that. You see, he's not able to properly stand up and he's just lying down like this and his fangs are just going all hair wire. You see, it's not, you see, look at that. That is the definition, the perfect definition of dyskinetic syndrome. And yeah, there's, there's really no cure for it, you guys. There's there's no cure. Just look at how he moves. Look at how wobbly he is. And you guys know that is not how a tarantula is supposed to walk. If you guys have watched this channel or you guys just know in general or watch other channels of tarantulas, you know that this is definitely not how a tarantula should be walking. So yeah it's really sad to see because there's really nothing that you can do so yeah it's pretty sad you just watch him and watch him wobble and wobble and you know that he's just going to eventually die because he's not going to be able to eat or drink and yeah it's, it's it, this sucks this sucks so bad just gonna get a little bit of substrate for him that should be enough for now all right so i'm gonna be putting him see he can't control anything right now that's crazy, man. And this happened like, like just like out of nowhere. I don't know how, I don't know why. And yeah, <sighs> so sad. My gosh, this is not how a tarantula is supposed to be. Come on, dude, you got this. So as you can see, they cannot control anything. They cannot control their movement. And this tarantula used to be a super aggressive one. Now I can touch it and can't do anything. It just, it just, you see? Yep, this is the perfect example of DKS. My previous DKS cases, they're just like curled up and they don't do much. They just maybe move a little bit. But this one actually moves a lot. Look at this. He moves a lot, but he just can't do anything. And the thing is, this is not something that you can cure from what I know because they're, they're, yeah, it's just no cure. And they're stuck like this until they die because they cannot eat and basically they just can't do anything they can't drink i think it's just and it's already starting to web check that out and usually for this tarantula oh my gosh the web this tarantula i'm really scared of because any movement he will jump and just grab and now i can even like touch him and he he just doesn't do anything i don't really know what's the cause of dks probably like food poisoning or like aerosol spray but then again it's definitely not aerosol spray if it is then everyone would have got dks but it's just this guy so and xena starts barking when i'm filming <laughs> It's so random. It happens so randomly at times and there's really nothing that you can do. You can't even bring it to the vet because what's the vet? I mean, I, I, <laughs> I find it funny when people like tell me, bring your tarantula to the vet and get it cured or something. Like, what can the vet do? Nothing, you guys. They can't do anything. They inject the tarantula. It's dead. It's pretty much dead. And if you, you can't give it antibiotics or any medicine or anything. Look at that. It's, it's not even like touching the ground. Look at that. That is crazy, man. That is insane. So yeah, that's Tarantula DKS for you. It's like, he's, he, he's trying to like fly or something. That's crazy, man. Look at that. It's not even touching the ground. I've not had a Tarantula with this kind of DKS before. Look at that. Is it? That's, yeah. If you search DKS, it's probably going to be all these kind of cases. But like my previous DKS kind of cases, those are like, I think they're like mild DKS, but this is crazy already. This is insane. Like those mild ones, they don't experience DKS like this. This one is like, I don't know, man. I don't know what's the cause of this. And uh, like, really, I don't know. Maybe it could have been a bad food item that I fed it, a bad roach. I don't know, because everyone's eating from the same roach bin. And maybe that one roach was contaminated with parasites. You never know what's inside those roaches, right? Yeah. Anyways, this is one reason why I don't buy expensive, expensive tarantulas because you never know when something like this is going to happen. It's just so random. It just happens like 
like that and there's literally nothing you can do you you think you can do something but there's really nothing you can do you can give it water it may survive a few days or something but then yeah there's there's nothing you can do like usually when you get food poisoning you, you get some rest you get some fluids you get some antibiotics or something like that and you're all good to go but for tarantulas there's really nothing that you can do and you're just gonna have to deal with it so i'm really surprised because this is the first time i'm experiencing something like this and yeah it sucks and this guy he's, he's come to yeah exactly go away yeah so as you can see <sighs> you can't do anything it's just there, helpless, and yeah, that is the DKS right there. 100% crazy DKS, man. You don't want your tarantulas to get DKS because there's like probably 1 or 2% chance of survival. I don't know, maybe even 0%, but I'm just saying 1 or 2 to give it a little bit of chance. But yeah, there's really nothing that you can do. And <sighs> I've had emails from people saying that their tarantulas have DKS and they asked me for advice. Well, guys, here's your advice. There's nothing you can do because, yeah, that's just the reality of it, man. That's the reality of it. And for those tarantula experts who have experienced DKS, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about it. Like, what's the cause of it? Or when I searched online, they said that the cause of it is like food poisoning, aerosol sprays, and yeah, just general poisoning. I have no idea. But anyone with experience, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, we'll all learn with each other together. You know, I don't even have to cover the container because I know that he will not be able to come out. There are actually some parts when, you see now he's walking like super slow, right? I mean, like kind of walking. He's it's not even really walking it's just wobbling around but yeah there are some parts where he'll just go all like 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 really cannot control at all and he'll just it'll just be a very very fast motion but i was not able to catch that on camera so yeah i mean i'm, I'm probably i'm pretty sure you're going to be able to find that on other channels but over here this guy he yeah that's just what we're going to be getting today there we go i think that's the fast motion that i was trying to tell you guys that's crazy, man. That is so sad. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm eating a burger now, so if my voice is a little bit off, then that is probably why. You know what? Let's actually try to feed him a roach and see what's his response to it. All right, let's just drop it right in front of him and let's see. Hey, roach, go to your... to go to... Oh, you see? Usually very, very hungry and always wanting to eat. Look at that. He's just... he cannot even eat. Oh my gosh, that is why, now that, that right there is the one I was telling you guys, the fast movements of the DKS where he can't do anything. Yeah, so that is really sad. As you can see, this one thankfully is very, very plump, but those who are really thin and have DKS, yeah, oh my gosh, look at that, look at that. Yeah, man, that is so, so sad, man. I, I don't know, man. You see, he, he really cannot control anything. And usually this one, when a roach comes its way, usually he will just pounce without any hesitation. Big roach, small roach, medium roach, anything he will pounce. But now, just look at him. He's literally, he's just, he's just helpless. He can't do anything. You want to feed him and he just, he just doesn't want to eat. So, yeah, that's DKS for you.